Malou. Voila, it's going okay. I uh, don't know what this is called. <laughs> Rebuilding the photogrammetry rig. Ah, yeah, that, yeah. Everything is coming together nicely. Yeah, yeah. Some on the not this. So this is the walkthrough? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, we have Christina, who joined us as an executive assistant and has been taking a lot of weight off the shoulders of me and Friedrich, helping us out with a lot of the coordination, event planning, email communications, house stuff. I mean, it's uh, probably too long of a list, to be honest. Are you responsible for our lobby situation? Yeah. I'm working on more, but for now this will do. And I make sure that everything runs. You guys don't run out of toilet paper and coffee and keyboards and graphic cards. And then we have Brent, who is joining us from Canada, from uh, Aitos. He's going to be working on the narrative systems of the game, uh, the, the player choices. So that's kind of his, his domain. Now it's crashing for some other reason. I think it has to do with the old priority system. I design and implement the systems that control who says what, when, where, how. And considering that this is a very narrative heavy game, it's a lot of stuff. Oh. Ah, there you go. Kjafti, who is joining as gameplay designer, helping facilitate the design, helping us come up with new enemy types, new systems, and trying to bring that to everybody on the team. I uh, am a gameplay designer. I got hired to take over Thoris' part of the job so that he can have a, a top-down overview. It's definitely a lot of documenting mm -hmm. and explaining through words. And then we have Lindsay, who's joining us as a producer on the team, and she's going to be responsible for coordination, communication, and production planning for the entire project. I was trying to swap my headset, so I'm going to be working a lot with Haldor to figure out like the milestones for the game and make sure all the teams are on track and everyone knows what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Before these roles existed, it was primarily on me, and now finally with full roles they're able to have uh, full and undivided attention by talented people who can see these things through. So now that you have four people um, doing your job, you can just go and chill, right? Yes, I'm actually heading out right now. Yeah. Yeah, Hit that. No. Oh. You have to hit the hole, you know. <laughs> Hello, we are building the whisper room. It's so hot in here because that uh, radiator is broken and won't stop. Is it in the hole? It is in the hole. Wait, how many people are in here? Four. One, two, three, four, five. This is a, an, uh, a ventilated isolation box. Sounds like a torture thing. Psst. This feels like a Twitch stream. Give me a hot tub and I can make it one. I'm just doing a table surgery. So basically I just wanted to hold the monitor while we move the table. Kafti, how do you like working in Mikkur? It is riveting work. Oh. So that we don't crush anything and give Kafti a hard time. Yes, please. Please. But for now... This is good. <laughs> Traffic. Not the internet kind, it's the real kind. We still live in, the, in a real world, although our minds are in the virtual reality of our video game. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on, I'll show you what I'm working on. Um, Graham Stark, he's great. He's a, an excellent blogger, much better than... <gasps> These are really good when you keep Magic the Gathering cards. It's like an anti-moisture thing, so... It's the thing you're not supposed to eat. I feel like a fucking... I'm strong boy. You know, the quickest way is getting out of helping us. It's like, oh, let me grab the camera and film this. I'm not supposed to throw away the DVDs. I moved my desk because they're building a wall over there. And whenever they come in, they put plastic wrap. And I do not like being plastic wrapped. Never again. I, I moved. It's a design space. A design, um... Department. I suppose. Bags. <laughs> Candy man. I that might be. You're not familiar with Pepsi Man, but no. like 1990. You know those Crash Bandicoot levels? Yeah. Potatoes. Potatoes, and they're baked. Usually with some butter or cream cheese. It's kind of self-explanatory, really. Foam has fallen out. This is not a metaphor, it's an actual, my actual foam has fallen out of the whisper room. Look, I added some extra foam to it. I just didn't do a good enough job, so it's, uh, it's loose. This is a whisper room. It has a microphone, it has 
soundproofing. And more than that, I didn't mess with the audio, I can't hear him. And that of course is the most important thing if you want to survive a zombie apocalypse. This space I'm in currently is kind of isolated, but this just adds a whole nother benefit. You won't hear any computer fan noises through this. We bought this, we built it like an Ikea furniture. Now all that's left is uh, to bring in a light here, a screen of some sort, and it's ready to record. It has, a, has an excellent air conditioning, which is really silent, but it's not connected. Me and Dale have been in this booth now recording this for a couple of minutes. It's getting suffocating. <laughs> You're wait. Mm. Are you done with the photogrammetry, Rick? Almost. Damn. I can do the jig. Right. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share this content. Share it to your mother. Your mother would like this. You want me to continue? <laughs> your father, maybe. <laughs> Grandfather. <laughs> great grandfather. Great great granduncle. Grand Uncle Stan. Shout out to Alex Herc. <laughs> <laughs>